a comprehensive look at trends, fund profiles, and more in exploring ETFs. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Exploring ETFs. I'm Nina Mishra, and today we are talking about semiconductor ETFs. And we are talking about chip ETFs now because there have been some very interesting major developments in the industry of late. Intel, which was once the leader in chip manufacturing technology, reported its second quarter results. And it disclosed that it has fallen behind in developing the seven nanometer manufacturing technology, uh, which means that its next generation of chips will be shipped in late 2022 or even later. Now, Taiwanese chip maker, TSMC, which is the world's largest contract chip manufacturer, and it ma manufactures uh, chips for companies like Apple, NVIDIA, AMD, Qualcomm. TSMC has already been shipping seven nanometer chips for a year now, and they will have the five nanometer chips in the market probably sometime this fall, and they also expect to have three nanometer chips uh, in the fall of 2022, uh, which means that Intel could be at least two generations behind at that point. So obviously, Intel shares have fallen significantly. TSMC shares have gained a lot. And another company, chip company, which has gained a lot since uh, Intel's report is uh, Advanced Micro Devices, or AMD, which had already been taking market share from Intel in the last few years. It reported excellent, excellent results and also raised its guidance significantly. It forecast 42% revenue growth for the third quarter. So AMD shares continue to soar, and in fact, they are soaring like 7 8% today it's itself on some upgrades. Now, I didn't want to talk a lot about AMD's results because we'll focus on EDFs, but my colleague, Kevin Cook did a video on AMD's results uh, last week. It's called Release the Ryzen AMD Roars in the Nanometer War. So please watch that video if you want to learn more about AMD. But uh, talking about the industry in general, we have seen very strong demand for faster, efficient chips in this era of working and staying at home uh, because of uh, you know more computing, more cloud computing, more demand for internet, gaming, et cetera. And over the long term also, there are so many new growth areas for chip makers, you know, like autonomous cars, virtual reality, gaming, internet of things. And there has been a lot of innovation going uh, on in the industry. Uh, and another reason to be supposed to be positive on the industry is that uh, as trade tensions are rising, there is more, you know, there may be more government support for more domestic chip uh, manufacturing. Uh, because according to the Financial Times, while many advanced chips are designed in the U.S., only 12% are manufactured in the U.S. And China has been putting a lot of money in its domestic chip industry and could become a serious competitor by the end of the decade. So rising trade tensions with China means that more support for the domestic uh, chip industry and manufacturing in the U.S. In fact, TSMC has already announced another fab in Arizona. Uh, and uh, Samsung also has an advanced chip factory in Austin, Texas. Now, therefore, chip ETFs that I will highlight today. So let's take a look at those ETFs. So the first one I wanted to highlight is by iShares. It is uh, iShares Semiconductor ETF, ticker symbol SOXX, most popular with 3.4 billion in assets and charges 46 basis points. It follows a modified market cap weighting methodology. So it uses market cap capitalization, then caps each holding at, at a sorry eight percent at the time of rebalancing. Uh, so let's take a look at the CTF. 
by going to zax.com. You can read our research report and articles and go to external homepage, I share's web page for the ETF and look at other details and also its holdings. Now, Qualcomm, which reported recently and has surged, <laughs> occupies the highest weight in the portfolio as of now. NVIDIA, Avago, Texas Instruments, TSMC, Intel, AMD are other top holdings in this ETF. Now, the next one that we are taking a look at is by Venek. That is also very popular, as ticker symbol is SMH. It follows a market cap weighting methodology, so no capping. And it, for, it holds the 25 largest US listed chip companies. It is cheaper, 35 basis points, and has 2.7 billion in assets, very popular. Now again, to take a look at the CTF, you can go to the code page. And from there, the external home page, Venex web page for the CTF. And you can look at other details and holdings for this ETF, Taiwan Semi that we talked about occupies the largest suite in the CTF and then Intel, NVIDIA, ASML Holdings and Qualcomm. Now the third one by Spider, ticker symbol XSD, it is slightly different because it follows an equal weighting methodology. So it's 36 holdings are almost equally weighted in the portfolio. So that means more tilt towards smaller mid-sized companies. This also charges 35 basis points and has 438 million in assets. So to learn more about the CTF, you can go to the code page and from there the external home page, Spider State Street's web page for the CTF. AMD, SunPower, Synaptics, Qualcomm. These are the holdings in the CTA, but occupy almost equal weights. Then the last one is by Invesco. It's called Dynamic Semiconductor Portfolio ETF, ticker symbol PSI. It's a smart beta ETF, so it uses a a proprietary quantitative weight, weighting methodology to select and weight, weight its holdings. It has about 30 holdings. It is most expensive, 58 basis points, and has 293 million in assets. Now, to take a look at the CTF, you can again go to the code page on zax.com. And from there, the external home page, um, learn about how they select their holdings, and also look at the portfolio. Now AMD, which has been soaring over the past couple of weeks and even before that, uh, occupies the uh, highest weight in the portfolio, followed by Qualcomm, NVIDIA, and Applied Materials. And so obviously it has benefited from its high weighting in AMD, and that you will see from the performance chart that I have for these ETFs year-to-date performance chart. So as you can see, the S&P 500 is up just a little bit uh, during uh, this period this year, uh, whereas the four ETFs are up between 17% and 22% with the Invesco product being the top performer. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out zax.com slash promo for an interesting offer. And I'll see you next week. But yeah, before that, in full disclosure, I hold SOXX in the ETF investor portfolio that I manage. And I also hold AMD and TSMC in my personal trading portfolio. Thank you.